In this video, we're going to share with you the top 5 best FM2 Plus CPU. To build a good quality PC requires a good CPU and specifically when you plan to run games. To make things easier for you this list of best CPU will help you. Moreover, I'll leave the links to discussed CPU in the description, you can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting our list with AMD A86600 K APU. AMD A86600 K APU is a fantastic option for anyone who is looking for a good piece of technology. You will get some of the best graphics in the industry, but there are a few things that you will need to pay attention to if you make the decision to buy this one. This will give you a boost when you are playing with dual graphics on most titles. However, you may have to slow everything down over time to really get the performance that you want. Some people may suggest that you are better off getting a CPU that doesn't have graphics embedded, which will save you money. However, it is up to you. The chimp is produced in a 32NM process and integrates two modules with four CPU cores clocked at 3.9 to 4.2 GHz. The 6600 has a Radeon HD 8570D graphics unit and a DDR3-18666 memory controller. The unlocked multiplier can be overclocked extremely easily, making it better for those who are just starting out and don't want to take too many risks. You may have to personalize for some smaller optimizations, particularly if you want to go into turbo mode. The CPU cores are built on Piledriver, which is a reworked bulldozer architecture. This means you can expect some pretty good performance. The CPU performance is the same as some of the older models in this line, which is a good thing. It is perfect for everyday tasks and can even handle some of the most demanding 3D games. Pairing it with a dedicated graphics card will also help to get some strong performance because the integrated DirectX 11 compatible Radeon HD 8570D offers a mere 256 of the 384 shader cores of the Richland chip and a core clock of 844 MHz without turbo support. At number 2 it's AMD Athlon X4870K Black Edition. The AMD Athlon X4870K comes with a user manual that you can use, an AMD Athlon sticker, and the chip and box. You are able to overclock with this CPU, but you want to be sure that you have adequate cooling in place as it can get quite heated. This CPU supports FM2 Plus sockets and has 4 physical and 4 logical cores. It has a CPU that supports DDR3 RAM with a max frequency of 2133 MHz and a second level 4 MB cache. If you are using this CPU to game with 3D graphics, it certainly has the ability to process them. From a gaming perspective, you need the CPU to be strong and this one certainly is strong. It is slightly faster than some of the other processors within its category and it has the potential to overclock. Since this one is somewhat of a budget option, you would be hard-pressed to find another option in this price range that is this good. It does have some higher consumption than other CPU in this line. Speaking of its pros, this CPU is a good budget-friendly option. It is good enough for most people who are gaming. Features FM2 and FM2 Plus socket compatibility, and you can use this one to overclock. Lastly, it has increased base frequency in comparison to other CPU in this price range. The only problem we found is it does have a high consumption rate, can be extremely noisy when it gets to be too hot. At number 3 it's AMD A6400K Richland 3.9 GHz socket FM265 Watt. If you are looking for a 2-core desktop processor, the AMD A6400K should be one of the first considerations that you make. It is part of the A6 lineup and uses the Richland architecture with socket FM2. It has 1 MB of L2 cache and while it can be boosted up to 4.1 GHz, it typically runs at 3.9 GHz. Of course, this will depend on the workload and, somewhat mysteriously, the type of work that is being done. Currently, it has a 32NM production node using 1178 million transistors. However, you can adjust this and unlock the multiplier on the CPU, which makes overclocking simplistic. If you need to adjust the overclocking frequency, you will be able to do so with relative ease. One thing that really impressed us is the power consumption levels that are akin to a modern PC. It supports a DDR3 memory interface as well as a dual-channel interface. Overall, 
you will get good machine performance out of this FM2 Plus CPU. At number 4 it's the AMD A67400K CPU. It is a good CPU for gaming PC. When you pair it with a graphics card, your games will run smoothly and you will get the most out of your graphics. This one has two cores, two threads, and has the ability to run at around 3.5 GHz. It works with some of the most popular games and keeps them running at premium speed. While this CPU doesn't quite stand up to some of the other options on this list, it is a good option if you really need to stay on budget. One thing that makes it appealing is that it will perform better if you are able to use a good motherboard and other parts to keep it operating at its maximum ability. However, some users have reported that it gets lazy over time and you will see a dramatic slowdown of your gaming experience. At number 5 it's AMD A10 series APU A107850 K socket CPU. If you pay attention to markets, you know that AMD CPU have been fighting a battle against some of its bigger name competitors. As such, it has had to play catch up. Compared to some of its older efforts, this CPU is a bit of a revelation. If you are a graphics junkie and you play a lot of games with heavy graphics, it should be a good match. However, there are some games where it does seem to struggle, especially those games with 4D graphics. Often, it seemed that when the game first started, the CPU struggled to keep up, but as you played more, it was able to perform. This is a strange phenomenon and may just require more loading before you sit down to seriously play. And with that, we come to the end of our review. I'm pretty confident one of the FM2 Plus CPU mentioned in this video will be the perfect option for your PC build. If you have any suggestions or questions, leave a comment below and the video will answer or explain for you. And at the end, don't forget to leave a like.